Book on limited memory by author Kevin Horsley If you are in legal trouble which lawyer would you hire the one who can effortlessly remember cases associated with your situation or the one with the bad memory who has to find legal cases on Google If you needed surgery would you wish the surgeon who can remember the precise details of your procedure or the surgeon who must reference a manual on his iPad during the operation and which speaker does one find more engaging and convincing the one who has memorized her speech or the one who is continually looking down at her notes irrespective of your profession a robust memory will cause you to bump into more competent and assured and after reading unlimited memory I am more convinced than ever that the flexibility to memorize information is a smaller amount of an innate talent and more of an imaginative habit author of unlimited memory Kevin Horsley says memory isn't a thing that happens to you you create your memories and therefore the greatest secret of a strong me mori is to bring information to life together with your endless imagination horsley learned to use his imagination to beat a upset and also the belief that he had a foul memory and located the simplest way to recollect 10 oh digits of pi and earn the title international memory grandmaster there are two primary methods that memory grandmasters just like the author want to accomplish amazing memory feeds you and that i can use these two methods to recollect a listing of names before a gathering or an inventory of stories quotes or facts before a presentation the two methods are seeing and placing first see it ses is that the act of brain information to life in your mind think about it like taking a powerpoint presentation and turning it into in fun fair ride se stands for sense exaggerated and energized once you encounter information you wish to recollect turn that information into a fashionable sensory experience in your mind if you wanted to recollect the family name of the author horsley you'll see a horse in your mind you'll touch it smell it hear it or perhaps taste it okay tasting a horse could be a bit gross but it's memorable then exaggerated the pictures you've imagined make the horse pink and make it the dimension s of a house the goal is to be extreme ridiculous and funny horsley says the more illogical the image the more it'll stick there's no scientific evidence to prove that learning should be serious and eventually energize the image in your mind by tapping into your inner walter elias disney and turning still images into motion pictures se since exaggerated and energized i take advantage of the se method whenever i provides a presentation after i was preparing for a chat on the five feel good neurochemical that are naturally released in state of flow that optimal state where you are feeling your best and perform your best I exploit the SCE method to recollect the association between each neurochemical and a well-known drug to assist my audience understand the effect of every neurochemical now it's worth noting that you simply can't take these five drugs and scale flow because the five neurochemicals need to be in perfect balance which the brain naturally does in a very state of flow the primary neural ch chemical was dopamine when dopamine is present within the brain you're feeling excited a well-known drug that temporarily spikes dopamine within the brain is cocaine to recollect the association between dopamine and cocaine i imagine dopey one amongst the doors from snow white drinking an enormous can of coca-cola dopey feels like dopamine and coca-cola appears like cocaine the second neural chemical in endamide provides a sense of bliss and it's related to the psychoactive component in marijuana to recollect the connection between an animate and marijuana I imagine Wolverine from the X-Men grunting while he attacks an enormous marijuana plant together with his adamantium claws the word adamantium strikes a chord in my memory of serotonin the third neurochemical provides feelings of happiness and self-confidence and is commonly related to antidepressants like Prozac to recollect the connection between serotonin and Prozac I imagine comedian Sarah Silverman standing on stage during a Noisy comedy club she makes W. Heath Zach Efron Sarah jogs my memory of serotonin Zach Prozac, and therefore the fourth neurochemical is norepinephrine, it helps you focus and listen. A drug associated with norepinephrine could be a red line to recollect this relationship. I imagine Riddler from Batman in an exceedingly bright green jumpsuit fighting Batman within the cold and ice. Arctic strikes a chord in my memory of norepinephrine, Riddler jogs my memory of Rydlin, and also the last known neurochemical endorphin relieves pain like excitement. To recollect this relationship I imagine dolphins that appear as if endorphins jumping out of an enormous pool filled with white oxycant and these silly pictures made the neurochemistry connections and medicines remain in my mind. 
but what made it easy to recollect all five neurochemicals so as is where I put it in my mind which leads us to the second way so as if you've got a protracted list of things you would like to recollect like five stories for a presentation or ten ingredients for a recipe, put the things of that list are within the memory of a well-known environment, take a look at our minds and remembering the small print of the environments we were in. Just close your eyes and check out to try to to that. Imagine that you simply are walking in your house after a second or two. I'm sure that you just are able to imagine your exterior door so your kitchen so your television room. Then perhaps you'll make use of the steps and your bathroom within the ease with which you remember the environments easily remembering new information within the case of that neurochemical presentation that I introduced him. I imagined a puddinhead greeting me at the front entrance of my house with an enormous can of coke, and so I entered my house and saw Wolverine attack the large marijuana plant along with his adamantium claws in my kitchen then I went into my television room and on the TV I saw Sarah Silverman make it with Zac Efron then went up to upstairs and then I saw Riddler fighting Batman at the highest of my ice covered stair. Then I visited my bathroom and saw little dolphins leaping out of a bath crammed with thousands of white oxycin. Author Kevin Horsey says the journey is like paper and therefore the images are like ink. The mode allows you to use every building you have got lived at work or visited it to store new information that you simply can rehearse and put the data in your parents' house, within the corridors of your high school, or within the aisles of the food market you recognize. You'll be able to put information on the road to figure or on the road that you simply desire your favorite restaurant. He says the opposite Kaufman horse. Some people say I'll run out of space but if I provide you with a truck filled with stuff to place in an exceedingly shopping center, would you be ready to copulate in fact? If you're trying to find it and you'll find thousands upon thousands of places waiting to be utilized in your mind, there aren't any limits to the current system, only limits in your thinking. Get obviate excuses like me I am not creative or I don't think this is often not what I believed. Either this can be the way I trained myself on thinking because it works. The proper memory may be a skill, not a special gift that was the most message I gathered from Unlimited Memory by Kevin Horsley. This book could be a great guide to assembling her memory and it helps you to be more confident and efficient during any presentation I highly recommend if you wish this video share it, and thanks for watching.